Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophia. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you guys what kind of brushes I use and how I take care of them. Now grab a brush and let's explore. First, the Golden Maple Kalinsky series I got from Amazon. Considering they're Kalinsky brushes, they're really inexpensive and they come with various sizes, so I highly recommend their brushes. Up next, these are the Nick Pro Micro Detail series. Also, I got them from Amazon. They are made with synthetic hair, so that's why they're inexpensive. My biggest pet peeve when it comes to brushes is when the finish of the brush handle starts to flake off. It drives me crazy. But these Nick Pro brushes finish never flakes off, so I really like that about them. The set comes with different styles and different sizes, so it's really versatile. Although sometimes the brush tips slightly bend during delivery, but you can shape them after washing them. They tend to come back to their original shape, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, these are basically the same brushes with rose gold handles. I just like rose gold. Groundbreaking. The price is a bit more expensive than the black handle ones. Anyway, they are very decent considering how inexpensive they are and how long they last, so I highly recommend these two sets from Nick Pro on Amazon. So I learned from Midwinter Mini's YouTube channel that you can use matte hair styling wax to shape synthetic brush tips. Up next are some Army Painter brushes. This was from the Most Wanted brush set. This is the Insane Detail Brush. It doesn't hold much water, so it's not that great. Mm, nah. This is Wargamer Kalinske brush. The brush tip is pretty decent, but also super expensive, so I guess it's up to you guys. This is the Wargamer Character Brush. The brush tip is pretty decent, and it keeps its shape pretty well. It's not bad for beginners. This is the Hobby Series Precise Detail Brush. Again, decent brush tip, but Army Painter's brush handle finishes are really weak. They flake off pretty easily, so I don't really recommend them. This is the Hobby Series Base Coating Brush, and for the same reason, I don't really recommend this. Now, these are the Artist Opus brushes. I started academic visual art at a young age, so I have a lot of experience with all different types of brushes. And I don't often say something is the best, because every brush has its pros and cons. Like, for one type of paint job, you would like a pig hair brush. For another type of paint job, you'd like a Kalinsky sable brush. And for another, you want a synthetic brush, and so on. But for miniature painting, the Artist Opus brushes are the best. Hands down. They are Kalinsky brushes, so they can hold a lot of water and paint. You know, when you're trying to paint some really tiny details, but the paint dries out before the brush touches the surface. With Artist Opus brushes, you really don't need to worry about that. They tend to keep the moisture and keep their shapes. Really impressive brushes. I mean, they are pricey, but considering their quality, honestly, I think they are actually cheaper than they could be. Now, here's a tip. Keep the brush caps and always store your brushes with caps on. Now, these are the Windsor & Newton Series 7 brushes. I bought them off of Amazon. As you can see, their sizes are all different. That's because I've been using them for so long. These are also Kalinsky brushes. They tend to keep their shape really well and the finish of the brushes doesn't come off, so they're great. Now this is supposed to be a size zero, which means it should be bigger than it is. It has lost some hair along the way. But brushes like this one are like gold, so do not throw them away. You can trim the brush tip however you want it to be, and this is great for painting details. Anyway, this is my Windsor & Newton collection.
This is Games Workshop's Citadel Layer S brush. It was $9. Pretty versatile and literally great for layering. Great for beginners and it seems like it lasts pretty long. Now this is my nail art brush stash, and yeah, they are pretty great for miniature painting. You need a brush that can hold a lot of moisture when you do acrylic nails, and that's why most of the acrylic nail art brushes are made out of Kolinsky hair. They are really inexpensive, although you can't really find small size brushes with Kolinsky hair, but these are great for painting minis like dreadnoughts, rhinos, and stuff. And they're pretty too, so. <laughs> Brushes like this one are great for drawing freehand lines. Yeah! Uh, this is for dusting. I can't really remember where I got it, but uh, I use it to brush off the plastic dust when I remove mold lines. This is my mess of brush stash. So these are all from the same company. The brush tip with the aluminum part fell off of the brush handle, so I just used whatever brush handle I had at the moment. These are all from D Artisan Shop from Amazon. As you can see, all the brush handles are all messed up. They're great at first, but after like several paint jobs, the brush finish start to flake off. Ugh, makes me so mad. So um, don't buy them. It's not worth it. This is a Barbara nail brush. I used this brush for six years or so, so it lost all the hair. I mean, it used to have a tiny brush tip, so it's impressive that it lasted six years. So you might be wondering, when do I throw away brushes then? A bad brush is, in my opinion, one that loses hair while you're painting. I mean, that happens every now and then, even for good brushes, but like you can see here, this just falls off. It was a gift. Well, I mean, this was a piece of shit, so. Eh, whatever. All you have to remember is don't buy this Now, these are great for resting your brushes in between your paint jobs. You can make them at the house with any type of clay. I got the idea from traditional Korean utensil rests, so uh, give it a shot. You have to make sure to wash your brushes after the painting is done. Please try not to leave them overnight. We are using acrylics, so if the brush dries with some paint left, it ruins easily. Now I'm going to tell you guys about how to clean the brushes and how to take care of them. I brought four different types of brushes here. You're probably familiar with this brush cleaner. And on top of that, I also use an eyebrow brush to clean my painting brushes. First, the Kalinsky nail brush. It seems like, eh. It looks clean enough, but when you actually roll it on the cleaner, hey, I know, right? See, this is why we have to clean them after each use. Put enough cleaner onto the brush. Now you can kind of roll it on your palm. Make sure to be gentle here. Now I'm going to use the eyebrow brush to deep clean the ferrule of the brush. So make sure to brush it from the ferrule to the tip of the brush, not the other way around. The ferrule part tends to collect paints, even when you try to just put paints on the tip of the brush. 
the acrylic medium kind of climbs up to the ferrule. So make sure to deep clean them. So, brushes with real animal hair have cuticles and keratin. Each has cuticle layers and that's why they tend to hold more water. Keratin repairs damaged cuticles. If the cuticles are damaged, they'll eventually split and the brush might lose its water observancy, which is why you have to put extra care using conditioner like this. Think of it as a spa day for your brushes. Never had a spa day? Ah, me neither. Make sure to shape the brush before you let it dry. Now this brush is a synthetic brush, so you can be a little spicier with the water temperature. Use the crease of your palm to shape it the way you want. Brushes tend to remember their shapes, so be gentle not to misshape them. Of course, you can use the eyebrow brush here to deep clean the ferrule. Now gently pat dry and make sure to dry the handle as well as the brush tip. This nail brush is also a synthetic brush. Brushes like this tend to quickly build up leftover paint around the ferrule. So if you don't take care of them, you might have to throw them away after several uses. So make sure to check if there's any paint buildup around the rim. I'm gonna wash this Artist Opus brush here. Wash it like I did with the Kalinsky nail brush, but since it's way smaller, make sure to be gentle. Again, deep clean it with the eyebrow brush. Again, you can go the extra mile using conditioner to deep condition the brush because they're worth it. Even though my hair is like a broomstick. Oh well. The cuticle can easily get damaged with heat, so make sure to not use hot water. Dry the brushes horizontally, and after they're completely dried, store them with brush dip up. Brush cleaning and care is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want some more information, check out Andrew's blog, Tangible Day. There's a link in the description. Again, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in two weeks.